Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pinky. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, my lovelies, welcome back. We are doing the love reading for all the zodiac signs. Let's get into the needy greedy. Let's see what's going on with new love as well as old flame. If you guys are interested in any of the services that I provide, you guys can see the description box below. You'll be able to find all the links on there for our online store uh, to book any type of reading or consultations or any of the services that we provide. If you guys are interested in any of the spell work that you see on here, ingredients that you're looking for, you'll be able to find that on my storefront with Amazon. You'll be able to find all of those links below. If you're interested in the uh, Manifest Your Destiny book or any of the journals that we are now um, have available for you guys, you'll be able to find all of that on the box below. Anyways, let's get to the needy greedy. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. Do not forget to subscribe uh, so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. All right, my lovely. So something I've been hearing a lot on my social medias is, am I still doing spell work? The answer is yes. And I understand that a lot of you guys are kind of um, a little bit antsy because I haven't really been posting a lot of spell works on here the way I used to. That's quickly going to be changing. Now, as you guys know, we've been doing a lot of work, a lot of spells for you guys. And I honestly just haven't had the time to actually record any of that because it's been very busy. Usually we have downtime. I haven't experienced downtime in the past two years. So I promise that you guys are definitely going to be seeing more spell work going up and more powerful spells at that. But that also means that the ingredients will be a little bit more difficult which is I wanted to make it easier for you guys. So that's why we linked up with Amazon. Um, so you'll be able to find all of those ingredients on my Amazon storefront. So I just wanted to put it out there and let you guys know. All righty, let's get into the needy greeting. We're going to begin here with Gemini's, my lovely Gemini's. It is Gemini season. So happy birthday to you guys turning another cycle. Let's see what's going on. How is the energies treating you guys? We are about to hit a very uh, exciting and monumental time where there's going to be a lot of passion and intensity for all the signs. Um, so I'm definitely hoping for the best for you guys. A lot of the readings I've been experiencing, people are really being challenged right now. So, all right, let's get to the nitty gritty, you guys. Let's get into Gemini. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, I call upon you. I ask you to allow me to step... Um, Allow you to step forward. Allow me to see here, sense beyond, receive all the messages that you guys have specifically for all the zodiac signs. We're going to begin here with Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus in regards to love. Give me three cards to represent new love. Give me three cards to represent old flame. Allow me to serve as an instrument of communication. Let it be you who speaks through me. All right, here we go. Gemini, we're beginning here with the Knight of Pentacles in regards to how they see you. So they see you for the long run or they see you as someone worth investing time and energy. I definitely do see them um, very interested in you. However, I do feel like this is a connection that is going to take some time for you, Gemini. And I know Geminis are not known for being patient. Um, you guys rather, you know, <laughs> lose interest really quick. Uh, but this new love that you may be dealing with or that you will be dealing with, uh, maybe not necessarily the type you're accustomed to. Um, I feel like they're going to challenge your patience. And the reason for this is because this is a person that uh, really likes to take their time before making any type of serious, you know, decisions or any serious commitment. And that is absolutely not a bad thing. It's actually a good quality because there is substance there. And that's definitely something that Gemini's um, could do good with. Now, I also do have the judgment card here in regards to how they feel. I feel like they've made up their mind. They've made up the decision about you or how they perceive you, Gemini. And like I said, I feel off the bat with the Knight of Pentacles. Like they, they feel and they know that you're worth um, putting the effort and energy and getting to know you. Now, I am going to tell you with the Knight in, uh, of Pentacles and the Judgment, I want you to take it slowly. If you're already dealing with them, Gemini, I don't want you to rush into anything. Learn to be more patient. 
I don't want you to scare them off. Um, if this is a new person that's coming in for you, Gemini, that would be the advice. Don't rush into anything. Let things progress organically um, because I feel like by kind of forcing um, some type of like rushed energy uh, could be a bit overwhelming or they could just feel like you're not necessarily um, interested in the long haul. And if you are, you don't want to scare them off. Now, the next card that I have here is the Ace of Swords in regards to future actions. So I do see them communicating, opening opening up for you or opening more up to you. Um, I'm going to be honest. I feel like this is a good energy for you, Gemini. If you're already dealing with this person and you feel maybe that this person is a little bit shy or a little bit too much in their head, uh, they're kind of a little bit hard to read. Like I said, take your time with this connection, Gemini, because I do feel like it's good for you. This is a person that is very honest or a person that's going to be very straightforward with you. They may come off as a little bit harsh, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I just feel like they know exactly what it is that they want and they are definitely interested in you and they do see um they do see potential here. But like I said, take your time. Don't rush into anything. And yes, this includes don't rush into anything physical, Gemini. Make them work for it. <laughs> All right, now let's look into your old flame. We have the three of cups here, six of cups. Ooh, ooh, knight of cups. They are most definitely not over you, Gemini. I do feel like for some of you guys, you will be dealing with them at the end of June, beginning of July. It could be that you guys accidentally kind of link up or meet up or bump into each other. Um, it could be some type of celebratory type of environment. Um, this is if it hasn't already happened. I feel like this is going to be a trigger point in the aspect of it's going to create the openness of them trying to communicate or trying to come back into your life. And it's not necessarily a bad thing with the Six of Cups unless the person... Uh, stepped out of the connection and that's the reason why there was some type of breakup then definitely don't you know pick up the gum from the floor and chew it again um but if that was in the situation and you're still interested in them um i do feel like strongly the month of july is going to give you the opportunity to either reconnect or start communication with them and i feel like it's them reaching out to you or them coming towards you um massive message here for some of you guys you will be bumping into this person in the month of july and i feel like it's unexpected so you're not necessarily expecting or doing it like oh let me go to this place because i know they're going to be there i feel like it has more to do with kind of like accidental meeting or bumping into each other um but i feel like that definitely opens up the door to the past so the ball will be in your court gemini all right my lovelies now let's go to now let's go to Cancer. Let's see what's going on with Cancers. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. In regards to love and romance, give me three cards to represent new love. Three cards to represent old flame. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Like I said, you guys, um, in the next coming week, there's going to be a lot of intensity, a lot of passion, definitely in the air for all the signs. Um, so let's see what's going on with you, Cancers. All right, so we have the Sun card, the Seven of Swords, oof, and the Ten of Swords. Okay, so they seen you as a beam of light, the new person that you were dealing with, um, almost like a, they were very pulled towards your energy, Cancer. I feel like. I feel like the intensity of the connection or the physical attraction was definitely there. However, how they feel about you, Seven of Swords, they're not being completely honest or they haven't been completely honest with you. Now, one of the messages that is coming through Cancer is if you were recently dealing with someone and everything seemed to be going great out of nowhere, they're kind of not communicating as much or they're ghosting you at this point. Keep it pushing. Um... I feel like this person wasn't honest and they were definitely hiding some type of connection or relationship that they had while they could have presented it as they broke up or they're no longer with the partner. They're no longer dealing with someone. I feel like they weren't honest about it and there is they were definitely hiding some type of connection. 
their future actions is a ten of swords. So I don't see them taking actual action towards you or trying to communicate. If anything, I feel like they're kind of running away from having to explain or give you some type of explanation. Like I said, if some of you guys are already dealing with this energy and they're not really communicating or they stop communicating or they even blocked you, don't sit there and wait for them to communicate. I feel like this person wasn't honest and they definitely were hiding some type of connection. I don't want you sitting there waiting for them, Cancer, because I feel like it, it pretty much burned out. It went as far as it was going to go. And at this point, don't waste your time on anyone that doesn't see your worth or doesn't appreciate what you bring um, or that is not going to be honest. Quite frankly, they don't deserve you. <laughs> so, all right, now let's look into the old flame. We have the nine of cups here, four of swords, page of wands. Okay. So what I'm seeing here for you guys is there is definitely some feelings or some type of subconscious feelings that they still have for you. Um, but though there may be no contact at this point, I feel like they've moved on. And I'm going to be honest, for some of you guys, don't be surprised if in the month of July, you get news that they either impregnated someone or that they are pregnant. Um I feel like they moved on from the situation or the connection and they are, I feel like there is a surprise in regards to some type of pregnancy. So whether it was unexpected or whether it was that they moved on and, you know, you weren't aware of it, kind of like them stepping out of the relationship and all of a sudden you hear that they are pregnant or they got someone pregnant um, and I feel like for some of you guys, it's going to be news that comes to you. So it could be someone sharing this news to you. Um, but I feel like they've moved on from this chapter and they're ready to begin a new chapter in their life. Um, so yeah, I, I would not hold my breath for this person. They've moved on emotionally already. All right, my lovelies. Now let's go to Leo. Let's see what's going on with Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Leo, you're definitely going to have... A lot of passion and a lot of intensity for the next coming weeks. Let's see what's going on with Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. What's going on with my lovely Leos? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, here we go. All right, Leo, you have the Ten of Wands. You have the King of Cups and you have the Star card. All right, so in regards to how they see you... Um, this new person you may be dealing with may have or feel like you have a lot of responsibilities um, or like maybe you're not prioritizing them. Um, it could be that you are in actuality busy and your schedule's been busy lately or it's kind of get busy. So for some of you guys, it's going to be about trying to juggle your personal life and your professional life. Um and that may have them in their feelings a bit or feeling like you're kind of ignoring them or forgetting about them. But I do see them open to you with the King of Cups here and the Star card. How they feel about you, they are uh, definitely interested or emotionally available to you. Um, future actions is the Star card. So I feel like they're really putting in the work. They're going to try the best they can to be patient with you, Leo. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I feel like in the next coming weeks for you guys, you guys are going to be either extremely busy or it's just going to feel like you don't have enough time uh, to actually prioritize them or to actually give them the time of day. Uh, for some of you guys, it could just be work-wise that you guys get um, really be busy type of season. Um, but I feel like they feel like there's a lot on your plate or like you are not putting as much effort as as they feel like you should however they are being patient about it so i do see that this this is a very patient person if you just recently started connecting with someone um king of cups with the star card is definitely a person that is patient that is emotionally available and a person that sees you or sees the potential in you as a future person a partner sorry um yeah everything they wished for or everything they were looking for in a partner however it comes in a package of either extremely independent you are leo or you're an extremely workaholic or you're on work mode right now so i feel that's going to be the only challenge for you guys in regards to this connection 
Now let's look into the ex or ex-partner, old flame. So I definitely do see communication coming through for you guys uh, at the end of this month or the beginning of July. Uh, there's definitely communication coming through, even if you guys haven't dealt with your ex or haven't heard from them in a while. Um, I feel like they will be reaching out for some of you guys through text for others of you. It could be a post that they respond to on your social media. And it's how they're trying to uh, open communication with you. But I definitely do see them fixating on you or looking at you or looking you looking at you from a distance. Um, so this gives me almost the energy of like scoping your stories or watching what you're posting, what you're up to. Um, I'm going to be honest. I'm getting like vi like st stalker vibes from a distance. Um Knight of Wands and Knight of Swords. I'm wanting to communicate. I'm acting based on my emotions, but it's more like I've been watching you for a while now. So like I said, if you haven't been dealing with an ex for a while um, and all of a sudden they hit you up, don't think that it's out of the blue. They've been watching you, whether you've been aware of it or not. Like I said, stalking vibes. <laughs> all righty. Now moving on to Virgo. Let's see what's going on with Virgos. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you guys want to get notified of the most recent videos going up. We have a bunch of spell videos that I'm going to be going um, or uploading for you guys that we've been working on for a while that I just haven't had the time, but we're definitely uploading those uh, so you guys are going to be getting much more spell work um, as well as much more readings. So you guys definitely stay posted for that. We're also concluding the Tarot Lessons 101. Um, all of that. I'm going to be more proactive on YouTube. I know I keep telling you guys that, but you guys get it, right? It gets hell of busy, hell of hectic, and it's just been crazy. All right, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Virgos. Give me three cards new love, three cards old flame. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. All right, Virgo. We have the Six of Swords, the Judgment, and the Six of Wands. Okay, so in regards to how they're seeing you right now, Virgo, I, I see them like they're wanting to move things forward with you. They made up their decision. So if you guys are going through this weird energy of feeling like things are not going as fast as you would want or like things haven't progressed the way you want it, um, things are going to get much more stable in the coming weeks for you um, where you guys are going to be able to keep it pushing in a positive way with the judgment card, how they feel about you. They're realizing their intentions or feelings for you are a little bit more serious than what they thought. Um, there's definitely a switch of energy here. So I feel like there was some type of aha moment for them. Um, whether it was that recently you pulled away or for some of you guys, you actually physically pulled away by either traveling or taking some type of like trip or going somewhere and they kind of missed your absence. And that's creating the aha moment of, oh, I actually do feel a little bit more for Virgo than what I thought. Or I actually am making my mind up about me wanting to actively pursue Virgo. So I definitely see things progressing in a much more stable ground for you guys in the next coming weeks. And with the future action, Six of Wands, I'm ready. Let's move forward. Let's push it. Um, I see them actively taking action to showing you through actions that they want you in their life or that they are definitely interested in you Um Virgo. Now let's look into your old love here. They are definitely going through a cycle of karma, my lovely Virgos. If you guys were dealing with someone, <coughs> excuse me, from the past that did you wrong or you felt like you were mistreated or treated unfairly, they are definitely understanding that they effed up big time. There is major remorse and regret here. And unfortunately, it wasn't that they came to that realization. They came to the realization because of what they're dealing with now. So it's almost giving me the energy of realizing 
I did Virgo very dirty or I could have treated them much better. And I'm only learning this because now I'm being treated like shit. You know what I mean? Like they went, they thought that the grass was greener. They went somewhere else or they were dealing with someone that had them entertained until they gave them the boot. So now it's like, oh, now I'm missing Virgo or now I want or I'm needing or I'm desiring to feel validated. So I feel like there is a hesitation of wanting to come back. But like I said, it wasn't a realization that they found for themselves because they missed you. It's more of like, oh, shit, now I'm going through it and now I'm feeling it. I should have been better. I should have done this. I should have done that to Virgo um, to appreciate them more. So it's through the experience of they themselves being let down. So I don't see them taking action towards you, Virgo. But however, I do feel like in the future they will because there's remorse here. And usually when people experience remorse, it's like, all right, let me try to mend the fences or let me try to creep back into Virgo's life to see if they will entertain me again. So based on Justice card, know and understand that it is their karma to deal with. Keep that door closed, Virgo. Don't go to the past. Keep it pushing. All right. Now moving on to Libra. Let's see what's going on with Libras. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh, we got cards flying. Give me one second. All right, Libra, we have the Ace of Cups here that flew out. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three car or two cards to represent new love and three cards to represent old flame for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys like these videos, definitely like and share, comment, let me know. Libra. Okay, here we go. All right, so you have the Ace of Cups, the Six of Swords, and the Page of Swords. Okay, so... Libras, those of you guys that have closed the chapter, no longer dealing with people from the past. And the reason I say this is because if you are still dealing with someone from the past, they're holding you back. So you got to close the door on that. I do see new love coming in for you guys. For some of you guys, you are already dealing with this person. It could have been a person that you met while traveling, or it will be a person that you will meet through traveling or short trip. Um, Ace of Cups, Six of Swords, you're moving on and you're able to embrace new love or a new connection. Now, if you are already dealing with them, they see you as this has potential. This is something that could progress into something amazing. And how they feel about the situation with the Six of Swords is them realizing the worthiness that you possess, the qualities that you possess, or it could symbolize that they are realizing that they're ready to take it to the next level six of swords usually indicates like walking away or moving on but with the ace of cups i feel like there could have been some type of resistance or they could have felt like they weren't emotionally ready to like deepen this connection however with the page of swords here in regards to their future actions they're speaking the truth they're being honest they're revealing to you even if you thought maybe this person wasn't that interested they will be surprising you or they will be um being honest basically and transparent and very straightforward with their intentions now if you just recently started dealing with this person and you're kind of like um, feeling them out a bit don't be surprised if in the next coming weeks they kind of grow some you know what Basically, they grow some balls and they will be professing to you exactly what they want or exactly what they're expecting from this connection. Um, because I see them growing ballsy and it could be the, the planet alignments that are going to give that intensity and that passion. Um, whereas perhaps in the past, they were a little bit more reserved or kept their intentions or feelings kind of hidden. I see them like finally opening up or letting you know exactly what they want or how they want to progress in this connection. All right, my lovelies. Okay. Now, when we're talking about past love, we have the oof, 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 oof. Okay. So in regards to the old flame, three of swords, heartbreak, betrayal, ace of pentacles. You know, I'm going to be honest. I feel like 
there is some type of remorse here in regards to how they treated you and they were only able to realize how much you did for them libra based on the fact that they were treated the way they treated you so it's almost giving me the vibes of virgo's reading um when we're talking about old love it's almost like they realize that they hurt you and they realize that you deserved better. But it was because they were hoping that something would progress, meaning the other connection, and they were let down or they just recently found out that they were being lied to. So it's almost like, oh, I'm realizing now, you know, what Libra meant to me. But it's not that they've realized that. It's more like karma, basically. Um, so my advice is if you do hear from them, which you will Libra, don't waste your time, close the door on that shit, because I feel like this person is almost expecting to come back to you so that you can piece them together or you can put them back together and you're nobody's mama. You're nobody's father. You're not a freaking glue gun. Like let them figure that out. Don't try to save them Libra because they will do you dirty again. So keep it pushing. All right. All right. Now moving on to Scorpio. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio here. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right. Here we go. Scorpio. We have the Ace of Cups. Six of Swords. Page of Swords. You guys have definitely seen the cards. I shuffled the cards. You guys have seen that. And this is the exact same cards that I pulled out. I think it was for Libra. For the new love. So for some of you guys, you may be dealing with the Scorpio. Sorry, with the Libra. Okay. I'm getting a total different energy here. Now Libra. I mean Scorpio. Sorry. Let me gather my thoughts because I'm getting a lot of information. All right. Libra. I keep saying Libra. I'm so sorry. Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. If you recently started dealing with someone and they keep talking about the ex, that's a red flag. Don't waste your time. All right. Hear me clear, Scorpio. If you recently started dealing with someone and they constantly talk about the ex or what the ex did to them or how they treated them or whatever, know and understand that this person is not ready. They have not moved on from the ex and it's going to give you major disappointment. Um. Or if you're dealing with someone that has professed to you that they recently became single, do not get emotionally invested in them because they are not emotionally ready to connect. And I'm going to be honest, they're trying to rush into moving on from the ex. So it's always, it's giving me the energy of like, you know, that saying that they say the best way to get over someone is to get under someone or something like that. Um, that's the vibe I'm getting. So if you are dealing with someone that keeps talking about the ex, move on, red flags, they're not over the ex, or if they profess to you that they recently broke up, this person is still watching the ex, they're still lurking at the ex and what they're doing, but yet they want to rush into healing so that they can move on, but they're still watching them. So don't get emotionally invested in people that you know off the bat Scorpio, they're not ready to move on or they're not ready for a relationship. And I feel like this person majorly gives those vibes like red flags. Um, but you may be very, very like physically attracted to them or there is something that just draws you in that may kind of, you know, you may overlook those red flags. But hear me, Scorpio, if you're not trying to be disappointed, Keep it pushing because I don't feel like this person is ready to move on. They're still holding on to the ex, 
but they're trying to rush into like getting into even if they start like love bombing you like major major red flag here you guys pay attention to that okay all right and now dealing with the old flame in regards to how they feel about you ten of swords they know you've moved on or you're no longer emotionally invested in them or available to them however they feel like if they were able to reach out to you or if they were to reach out to you they're pretty sure almost feeling very like assertive that you would respond to them this is giving me narcissistic type of energy um if they reach out to you scorpio and they're like telling you their problems especially if they're already in a relationship and it's like they come to you to tell you like what they're going through in that relationship or whatnot honey if they weren't you know if you were with them and they weren't good to you what makes you think that and then they went into another relationship and they're coming to like like no don't try to be their friend don't try to like baby them don't try to be there for them because this is a person that if they weren't a good friend to you while you were with them in a relationship what makes you think they would be a good friend now that they're like doing other things or being in other relationships like you don't have to feel like you are responsible or like you have to be there for them or like you owe them anything scorpio very very and 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 if this is an ex or a person that that you've dealt with in the past that goes completely like off the map and then all of a sudden reaches back out to you it's because this person every time they get in a relationship like they make it about that relationship and then things start to go sideways and they come back around and they try to talk to you or they try to reach out to you because things are not going good so if they do reach out to you scorpio don't think like oh something can come from that it just means that there are other situation is not working out and they want some type of distraction you deserve better than that scorpio close the door on that sob okay all right moving on now to sagittarius let's see what's going on with sagittarius oh we got a card here we have a king of swords sagittarius sun moon rising venus give me two cards for new love three cards for old flame sagittarius Okay. All right, Sagittarius. How they're seeing you at the King of Swords, they definitely see you uh, a bit aggressive or they see you like very difficult to I'm going to be honest, they see you like you're not emotionally available. Like you're closed off. Um with the Knight of Swords, how they feel about you? I feel like they're trying to it's almost like, okay, so I'm getting two different scenarios here. For some of you guys, if you were recently in a connection or dealing with someone and they kind of pulled back, but yet you see them watch your stories all the time or they're constantly watching your social media or they text you here and there, but but they're not really like actively making it seem like they are interested it's almost like they're showing me like a time lapse. So it could be that they text you and then like two, three days later, they're like inconsistent and then they start texting you again. Like whatever that, it's a weird vibe. It's like a, a start and stop type of energy. Um, but they're definitely watching you, but they're not really like consistent. That's the word that's coming through. They're not consistent, okay? Um, the reason for it is because they are interested in you, but I feel like they're intimidated by you, Sagittarius, or they feel like you're not that interested. So they kind of rather see you from like the sidelines than to actively pursue you because they don't want to get hurt. Uh, with the Knight of Swords, as in how they feel about you, they made up their mind rather quickly about you and they feel like either you're not emotionally available, like I said, or they feel like you're too harsh. Um, with how you express yourself or even judgy. Um, and I feel like this is to them, it, it's more of an intimidation that they're not accustomed to or they're not used to that type of energy. 
but you still like you still spark that interest in them so i feel like they're basically playing mind games it's like okay i'm gonna see if sagittarius actually puts effort in wanting to get to know me or pursue it's like they want you to be the one to pursue that's what i'm getting future actions ten of swords i don't see them taking action i feel like they're they'd rather be on the sidelines than to actually put effort and then feel like you either rejected them or like you toyed with them um and that's the energy that i'm sensing and i don't feel like they're you know going to be proactive in regards to pursuing you um for some of you guys it could have been like a conversation like you started seeing them or noticing that they started acting different after a certain conversation you had with them i feel like like i said it's giving me like very judgy vibes um so something in that conversation played a role in they're kind of pulling away or acting indifferent um but I am getting like mental games. So my advice is if you're too mature, emotionally mature to be dealing with the guessing thing, like just don't waste your time, honestly. All right. Now moving on to Old Flame. We have the Hermit here, the Hierophant and the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Okay. Sagittarius, I feel like There was some type of enlightenment that happened to your ex-partner that recently happened to your ex-partner where they came to the realization that you were the best thing they ever had or you were the best thing that happened to them and they didn't appreciate that. And I do see them wanting to, you know, wanting to come back around, but I feel like there's there's a feeling of wanting to make things right. Um it could be that they are genuine in their reflection. I feel like maybe they've been putting in the work, shadow work, healing themselves. Um, for some of you guys, it could even be that they realize that their how they treated you was very misguided. Um, and there's almost like this synchronization that's going to be happening for you guys um it could be that either you guys accidentally bump into each other or that you guys are currently going through like a similar situation and you hear about it or you find out about it and it's almost like that conversation or that experience that you guys are currently going through may bring you guys um to revisit the connection. I do feel like they're being genuine in their, they're being genuine with their intentions of wanting to be better. Um, and that's what's coming through very strongly. It's like, I am realizing that I had a lot, a lot of things to work on Sagittarius and I kind of put the blame on you and now I'm realizing that and I'm doing the work and let me make it right or let me do right by you or let me prove to you um, that I want a second chance. So Sagittarius, do not be surprised if an ex comes back around or if there is contact or if you bump into them and they take the initiative of wanting to reconnect or wanting to prove to you um, that they are willing to change. And the thing about it is in these three cards, Sagittarius, these are major arcanas. So I feel like it has a lot to do with astrological alignments that we have right now. It has a lot to do with the planet alignments. It has a lot to do with destiny right now. Um, there is this major reflection that's happening right now in their life. Um, it's kind of like when you reflect on the most important things in life. It's no longer pettiness. It's no longer, you know, putting the blame or, you know, the pointing the finger. It's about taking self-responsibility. And I do see them do that. And they are doing that. So, um, do not be surprised if you do if you do hear from an ex or if you do hear 
that they're going through kind of a similar situation than you are. And I feel like that can bring you guys closer or it can connect you guys on a deeper level. All right, my lovelies. Now moving on to my lovely Cappy. So let's see what's going on with Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. In regards to love, give me three cards to represent new love. Three cards to represent old flame. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys like these videos, like, share, and comment. Here we go. All right, Cappies. You have the Ace of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Magician. You know, like I said, uh, this month, or I should say the remaining of this month, the beginning of July, it's going to be pretty exciting, you guys. If you guys been feeling a little ugh, or like the energy is off, or like you guys feel really tired, um, that's going to be changing very quickly because uh, it's very, it's going to intensify and get more proactive and more passionate. So uh, you guys definitely get ready for that. Okay, Capricorns, in regards to new love, Ace of Wands, Knight of Cups, the Magician. There is a manifestation that's coming through for you. For some of you guys, if those of you guys that are single, not dealing with anyone in particular right now, there's definitely new love coming in. I feel like this has a lot to do with synchronicities as well as manifestations. So for some of you guys, if you've been putting in the work, you've been working on yourself, that is the pivotal moment when the person that's meant for you or the person that's right for you comes along. I do see the inspiration, the passion, and the emotional um, energy that comes through with the magician here and the Knight of Cups. So for some of you guys, it could be that you will be connecting. For some of you guys, you may be connecting with uh, fire energy, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, uh, or water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Now, if you have rising or moon in a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, um, I feel like a lot of you guys around the month of July, I want to say the second to third week of July is when this person comes in. Uh, like I said, if you have your rising or your moon in a water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, uh, third week of July, I feel that this is around the exact timing that this person comes in for you. Uh, and it could be potentially a person that, like I said, is fire energy or uh, could have potentially their uh, moon or rising in a fire in a fire sign, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Now, if you're already dealing with the person, Ace of Wands does in indicate to me that they see you very intense, a very passionate person. They have major respect for you, Capricorn. How they feel about you, Knight of Cups, they're definitely tapping into their emotions or they're willing to understand what they're feeling or how their feelings are growing for you. And their future actions, the magician is actually taking action. It's being proactive about showing you um, the interest or the value that you bring to their life, uh, being more proactive, like I said, taking action and showing you um, through actions that uh, they are definitely interested in you. Uh, again, the same message comes through. Third week of July, I feel more so like uh, if you guys are recently dealing with someone, I feel like around that timing is when there is some type of taking it to the next level. So it could be that they express to you, hey, Capricorn, I'm really interested in you. You know, maybe we should think about making it more official instead of making it more casual. There is some type of elevation that happens here. Um, third week of July. All right, my lovelies, now let's go to old love. All right, so we have four of wands, death card, and the nine of pentacles. Okay, Capricorn, if the partner from the past was married or in some type of commitment or higher elevated committed relationship, uh, could be that recently there was some type of ending or some type of divorce, some type of separation. Um, I do see them, you know taking action towards you so again if you haven't heard from them in a while don't be surprised if like i don't know where they kind of hit you up and the reason why they're hitting you up is because they are no longer committed or there was some type of ending or conclusion to a uh, a prior engagement or connection that they had 
I do see them recently coming out of this. So again, like I said, if you hear from them, don't think that anything can come from it. Uh, Capricorn, don't waste your time. Um, this is something I tell my clients all the time. If you, I understand that sometimes life happens, right? Destiny. And if a person recently comes out of a relationship and they're not looking um, and you bump into them around that timing, like I said, they're not looking. It just happens that you guys kind of just meet each other. Then usually that's destiny, right? But if you guys meet on like a dating site or you guys meet like in a singles bar or you guys meet, like you guys both are proactively looking for someone and then you realize that they just came out of a relationship, chances are it's not going to work out because that person hasn't even took the time to sit there and simmer on the experience that they had with that other person, what that relationship taught them that they're not reflecting. And by not reflecting, they're going to be making the same freaking mistakes. And it's the type of people that go from one relationship to another. Again, if you meet each other because you guys are proactively looking for others and then you realize they just came out of a relationship, walk away from that and don't deal with that. But like I said, if you hear your ex or they come back or they reach out or whatever, they're trying to talk to you and they tell you that they recently came out of a relationship or that they're single again, don't waste your time there because honestly, with their future actions is the nine of pentacles. They're not even looking for another relationship. They're just looking to have fun. So what does that mean? Four of Wands with the death card is an ending to some type of committed connection or some type of stability that they had in their life. With the nine of pentacles, they're embracing this energy. So they're embracing the singlehood card. So you don't want to get your hopes up. Give them an opportunity or give them a window of opportunity to try to come back into your life when they're not going to be consistent, when they themselves are not even processing what just happened in their previous relationship. Like, just, just close the door on the past, Capricorn. All right, now moving on to Aquarius. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, three cards, new love, three cards, old flame. All right, here we go. So we're starting off here with the seven of cups. Oof, the moon and the world card. Okay. Aquarius, if you're dealing with someone that has you confused or has you feeling like you don't know what the hell's going on with this connection, excuse me, with this connection, don't waste your time. Keep it pushing. I'm going to tell you why. They're seeing you as an option. In the how they see you position, you're coming up as the seven of cups. You do not want that energy. That is a person that cannot be focused. Like they are just seeing what's out there or they're talking to whoever talks to them and they're all over the place. Like you don't want that. That is the very opposite of any type of effort, honestly. How they feel about you, the moon, they're not being honest or they're not being transparent or they're not being honest about the fact that they're dealing with multiple people while dealing with you. Future actions is a world card, so there is some type of conclusion or they will pull away. If you continue to get more emotionally invested in this connection, they are definitely going to be letting you down, Aquarius. Now, if you're not dealing with anyone, Aquarius, this coming, this coming full moon, there's going to be some type of shift that happens in your subconscious mind, Aquarius, where you're going to start to notice that more people are being drawn to you or like you're getting more attention. Now, this is a very positive thing, but I do want you guys to be more mindful of something. So they're showing me that you're getting a lot of attention. This coming full moon that's coming. The next full moon. Um where you're going to be getting a lot of attention, you're going to be having a lot of options. Now, I do see a pattern with you here, Aqu Aquarius. And there is a pattern where you are more drawn to what you're accustomed to. 
So if there is a situation that you're used to dealing with, as an example, getting emotionally invested in people that are taken or dealing with people that are already dealing with other people or some type of pattern here that is not necessarily a good pattern, be mindful of that because the people that come up to you with the same vibration of the people you're used to dealing with or have dealt with in the past, I want you to look past them and keep it pushing because this is going to breaking this habit or this cycle is going to bring you to the person that is meant for you. Um, with the world card, it's like you're elevating, you're going to the next level, the next cycle in your life where there is more clarity and stability in regards to what you are drawing and what you're being drawn to. Um, but like I said, I do want you guys to be mindful when you start getting attention or when you're giving, um, getting more attention and entertaining multiple, you know, choices, be wise about breaking a habit, some type of cycle that you're used to doing or that you're used to dealing with. Only you know, Aquarius, what cycle is this or what type of habit you need to break. But you know what I'm talking about. And what they're showing me here is if you're able to see past that or move on from that, you will be guided. You, It's almost like you're making way for the person that is going to give you all your emotional needs and support that you deserve, that you rightfully deserve, but you have to see past this. Why? Seven of Cups is always confusion. So you don't want to choose the wrong person to give your time and effort to only to be let down, Aquarius. All right, when we're talking about the X or Old Flame, we have the Nine of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Empress. This is a person that definitely has not moved on from you. Um, they're still in their feelings about you, Aquarius. Um... They're still hoping that something can come from this. Uh, even if you haven't heard from them, um, there is almost like, I don't see them being proactive in reaching out or trying to communicate with you. Um, but they definitely do think of you and they are still emotionally invested in you. They're, they still have love for you there. Um I don't see them taking action. I feel more so like they are. Okay, so I'm getting two different things. For some of you guys, you will be hearing from them, but I feel like you'll be hearing from them more so at the end of, sorry, at the beginning of July. For others of you, I feel like if you still follow each other or still see each other's social medias, I feel like they're going to be posting sappy things or like, memes or posts that are kind of directed at you and it's almost like they're wanting to get some type of sympathy or trying to get some type of reaction out of you because they are wanting your attention basically I'll be honest with the empress card I see them like not taking action because they want you to be the one to take action um so I don't see them being proactive in communicating with you but I do see them rather hoping that it'll be you who reaches out or tries to communicate all right my lovelies now moving on to pisces let's see what's going on with pisces sun moon rising venus give me three cards for new love three cards for old flame oh thank you all right pisces all right so we have here the king of cups the devil and the six of cups okay for new love Pisces, I think you guys have really been going through it because the past couple of months I've been seeing um, very strong messages for you guys. Okay, so with the King of Cups in regards to how they see you, they, you know, you're being represented in your own energy, which is Piscean energy, right? Water energy. So they definitely see you open and like they see you as They see you as, what I heard is I see through you. So this is not necessarily a good thing because it's next to the devil. So this indicates to me dealing with the person that has a bit of narcissistic tendencies or a person that 
is very manipulative and it's almost like they watch your every move to to find your insecurities or to find what you're very what you like and what you don't like and it's almost like they try to morph themselves into what you would hope they are only to manipulate you on an emotional level or to get something from you so and the reason i'm saying this is because with the six of cups um I'm getting two different messages, but primarily that's the main message that came through. It's like, I could see through you. Um, so they try to work with your fears. And that's not a good thing because this is, this is how we emotionally manipulate people. And I feel like you have a tendency of drawing partners to you, Pisces, that are not necessarily good for you. And it's almost because you're so giving and so nurturing that when you get into relationships or connections with people, you give yourself 100% without reservation. And that's where the imbalance happens, right? That's when the scales are tilted more on one side and it's it, the relationship becomes one-sided. So if you're dealing with a partner that or recently dealing with a new person that seems too good to be true Pisces and this is a specific message for you guys okay if you're dealing with someone that seems too good to be true run or end the connection or walk away from this because it is too good to be true they're not being honest or they're not showing who they really are. And this is a pattern for you, Pisces. So don't fall for it again. Because what I'm hearing, it's almost like you've graduated or you should have graduated from this toxicity of a cycle. But your loving and nurturing heart just keeps giving and giving and giving, even though you see the red flags. So if you are recently dealing with someone, like I said, that... And this could be as simplistic as like every time you want to have a conversation or you want them to have some type of responsibility or give you some type of explanation, they guilt trip you or they make you somehow they turn it around and make it seem like it's your issue or your problem or your insecurities um, or it's in your head and you're crazy. Like those are red flags. Walk away from that Pisces because you've dealt with this type of shit too many times. And at this point, it's about taking care of yourself and making sure that you are being treated the way you treat them. Um, now, for others of you, uh, especially those of you guys that are currently not dealing with anyone, I do see a Saturnian energy, a Saturn energy coming through for you. And if you are not dealing with anyone right now, like I said, you're single and free to mingle. I'm definitely seeing Saturn's energy coming through for you, especially those of you guys that have either um, have uh, your rising in Capricorn or your moon in Capricorn. I see a Capricorn person coming in for you. And this is a person that is going to be a genuine connection. Now, like I said, if you're a rising, if your rising is in Capricorn or your moon is in Capricorn Pisces, you're going to be meeting a soulmate type of connection that comes through for you. And I feel more strongly around the month of, I want to say second to third week of July. For some of you guys, it can run all the way through August. Keep in mind, time is fluid. Um, but they are telling me specifically those of you guys that are either rising in Capricorn or have um, your moon in Capricorn. Uh, there is a soulmate type of connection that is coming through for you guys. All right. So moving along, let's look into your old flame or old partner. We have the eight of swords, the queen of swords and the sun card. 
This is a person that is a victim mentality, a person that does not want to take any type of self-responsibility for the, the reason why it didn't work out. Um, in regards to how they feel about you, they haven't moved on. Um, why do they feel this way? Because it's easier to blame other people why it didn't work out instead of taking responsibility. Um, with their future actions, they're hoping they're hoping to get you back, Pisces, but I feel very strongly like this is a person that has whatever led you guys to the separation or breakup. They're not taking any self-responsibility, which leads me to believe they haven't changed. So even if they promise you the moon and the stars and whatever, like they're not they're not changing and they're not going to change. You need to keep it pushing, honestly. Um, if you guys are not dealing with exes, you will be dealing with the next uh, in the next coming weeks, I do see them reaching out. But like I said, I feel like they are like, hey, I want to make it better. Hey, you know, let me make it up to you or let me show you that, you know, I still want you in my life. But they're not. It's just talk. So I feel like at this point, don't waste your time. All right, my lovelies. Now moving on to Aries, my lovely Aries. Oh. Okay, I'm going to put them back in. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. Aries, we have the Nine of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles. All right, in regards to new love, I don't see them taking any type of action. Um... If you're feeling like this person is kind of stringing you along or you're wondering like mm, they're so hard to read, like one day they're very much into the conversation and then they don't respond. Um, the reason for this is because this person, you know, is is still healing. They're not they're not ready. They're not emotionally available. They are just playing the field because honestly, they want to distract themselves or their life is a bit boring. Um they're just juggling options, honestly. In regards to how they see you, they see you as, and, and here's the thing, all right, Aries, if you're recently dealing with someone or recently started dealing with someone, don't sit there and tell them what you've experienced. Don't sit there and tell them how difficult or how bad you've been mistreated in the past because you know what? You're giving them ammunition. This is like the type of, with nine of wands is like, I am paying very close attention to everything that has hurt you and everything that basically you want to hear so that you can believe. So I'm going to play based on that. I don't see them genuinely wanting to get to know you. I feel like they're just paying attention to what you're oversharing is what I'm hearing. So like I said, if you're recently in a connection with someone, don't sit there and tell them about your traumas, about what you've been through. Like, keep some mystery. Why? Because you don't want them to read you like a book because they will play you like a violin. It's that simple. Now, how they feel about you, two of pentacles, they're juggling. They're double dealing. They're talking to other people, even if they're telling you they're not. Uh, future actions page of pentacles not really taking any type of action or consistency like they're not giving you the consistency you want especially with the two of pentacles there so my advice is keep it pushing aries uh, this is definitely not a good energy now in regards to your ex or old flame we have the eight of pentacles page of wands and the eight of wands okay so you will definitely be hearing from them you will definitely be hearing from your ex they're definitely wanting uh, to fix things or they're definitely wanting to come back in. Um, I do see them taking very quick action so you could receive a text um, or some type of communication or wanting to have some type of communication. Um, for a lot of you guys, once you watch this video, don't be surprised if in the next coming days you hear from your ex because I see it very, very, very hasty, very coming in very quickly for you guys. Um, they are not, they haven't moved on, honestly. They're wanting to communicate. They've been working up the courage to reach out to you, um, Aries. So I do feel like 
like I said, you will be hearing from them uh, sooner than later. Um, but I do feel like when you hear from them, don't think it was spontaneous. They've been working their courage to actually communicate with you. There's a little bit of fear there in regards to you either not listening or not communicating or not wanting to respond. Um, but I feel like they've worked their courage to actually communicate with you. So, all right, my lovelies. Now moving on to my lovely Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Taurus, new love. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. If you guys like these videos, like, share, and comment. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can get notified of the most recent videos going up. All right, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. All right, yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. Oof. Ace of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Seven of Cups here. All right, so if you are recently dealing with someone, in regards to how they see you, Ace of Pentacles, uh, they definitely see your worth, Taurus. Um, they may be intimidated at first. They may feel like they have either a lot of competition um, or like you have a lot of options strongly coming through. Now, for some of you guys, um, this could indicate a new person coming into your life that you will meet at work or in your workplace where you're going to get multiple people telling you that they're interested in you. So it's almost like they make it known to someone other than you that they're interested or that they are physically attracted to you. Um, and I feel like the other people are who come to you and tell you like, hey, this person is feeling you or they're interested in you. Um, but the reason for that is because I feel like they don't have they're not ballsy enough to actually tell you that they're interested in you. I feel like it has more to do with like, mm, let me tell this person so that they could go back and tell Taurus um, to see if you would be the one to take action. Um because their assumption of you is very worthiness, right? They see you as a price. And immediately what they're thinking is Taurus definitely has either multiple options or multiple people. Now, for some of you guys, this can work out this way. A person comes into your job or where you work, your workplace or whatever, And they start asking someone about you. And then that nosy ass person comes back and tells you that they were asking about you. Um, because there's almost like this feeling of like rumors being spread. Um, but there's truth to it. But I feel like they just didn't have the courage either to talk to you or to like try to start up a conversation. So they'd rather just ask someone else about you. Um and that's how you will be hearing that they are interested in you. So, my dear Taurus, if in the workplace you hear someone tells you, hey, that person may have a crush on you, or I think they're interested in you, don't take it lightly because chances are they do, and they are definitely interested in you, but they are a bit intimidated by you. Especially Ace of Pentacles and how they view you usually indicates like they see you as a very sturdy person almost like um bitch resting face type of thing and it's like oh you know Taurus kind of intimidates me not sure if they would respond very good so they'd rather ask other people about you <laughs> to get a bit uh, a bit of a 411 from you or about you I should say um that is definitely what's coming through now if you are currently dealing with someone and it feels like in the very beginning things were going great and out of nowhere they seem distracted the reason why they seem distracted is because they are entertaining other people now this is primarily for those of you guys that are already dealing with someone there is it could have started off very good like almost amazing but things kind of have weathered or there's constant like arguments because they're not really communicating the reason for it is because they are entertaining other options Taurus. All right, in regards to the old love or the ex-partner, we have the Knight of Pentacles here, 
the two of wands and the four of swords. I don't see any communication here, Taurus. I do feel like sometimes they will reminisce or think about you. If uh, recently, and this is for a very small portion of you guys, if recently an ex-partner usually came to your mind, and I say recently, like in the past three days, you're thinking of your ex or they just came to mind, know and understand that that's not your energy. No, it doesn't mean you're missing them. It just means that they are obsessing over you and you were able to pick that energy up on a subconscious level. So don't sit there and dwell on emotions or feeling like maybe I haven't moved on. No, it's in reality, it's because you're sensing their energy. Um, but I don't see them taking any type of action. They may ask or look at your social medias, try to see what's going on in your life. But I feel like they feel like you've emotionally disconnected from the connection. So there is a bit of fear of rejection here. And I don't see them taking any type of action towards you, Taurus. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. I hope you guys can forgive me for the late upload. But you guys know that I still upload it anyways. Uh, you guys definitely stay tuned for all the spell videos coming through for you guys and all the readings and random readings I'm going to be doing as well. Um, going to be more, try the best I can to be more proactive on my channel. So you guys definitely follow so you don't, or subscribe so you guys don't miss the videos that will be going up soon. I want to wish you guys all my very best and I will see you guys soon. Till then, bye bye.